Hello and welcome back to SF a Giants recap and in today's game the Giants they lost to the D-backs 7-2 so that's what we're going to go over. Consider subscribing I make recap videos after every Giants game and so we're going to hop into the scoring. In the top of the first J.D. Davis he got a sack fly but that's when the inning ended because Lamont Wade Jr. he I feel like just forgot how many outs there were or thought it was over their head or something but he got doubled up, but the Giants were ahead. one nothing in the first, and that was the score until the bottom of the sixth, where there's a wild pitch by Scott Alexander that made it 1-1. One one. Then Dominic Fletcher, he tripled to make it 4-1, D-backs lead. And then in the top of the eighth, Wilmer Flores, he doubled to bring the game a little bit closer, making it 4-2, but the game got away from the Giants in the bottom of the eighth when there's a wild pitch, kind of. Uh, by Tristan Beck and Blake Sable could not find the ball because Blake Sable is not a catcher. I've been saying this for how long? Blake Sable is not a catcher. Gabe Kapler obviously doesn't watch my videos because I've said it how many times Blake Sable should be in the outfield, a DH, or somewhere else. He is not fit to be a catcher, and you can't put him in that situation in the late in the game because he'll mess it up for you, but... Uh, there was a home run by Dominic Fletcher to make it 7-2, which was the final score. So the Giants, they continue to just see the same mistakes every night. The bullpen, it struggles again. Anthony Discofani, though, he started the game, went five innings. He allowed three runs, but it wasn't him that was allowed them. He just allowed the base runners, and he got taken out because of an injury. They have not released anything yet. Uh, he did get two strikeouts. He was pitching really well until they took him out of the game because of that little tweak, probably in the ankle, that he dealt with last year. But hopefully he'll be all right. Scott Alexander, he allowed uh, one run to his name after one inning. Taylor Rogers, he had a clean inning. But then Tristan Beck, he allowed three runs. And I feel like they keep putting Tristan Beck in hard situations that he's really not going to succeed in. And so today was kind of one of them where we're already losing, and then you put him in to keep to get us even deeper behind the D-backs. So something to look out for there. Uh, for the hitting side, J.D. Davis, he had a lot of great hits, but right two people every time. The one sack fly was clear in right field. He had a line drive straight to the third baseman, a line drive into left field, just a lot of stuff that if they were hit anywhere else, this may be a different story, and we may be in the win column, but... J.D. Davis, he kind of got robbed today. Casey Schmidt, as usual, he had two home runs, I mean two run hits today. So that's really good to see from him. Hopefully he can keep it up. He's batting 550, of course. And uh, for the offense, though, he really only had seven hits, two RBIs, and two walks. So really got to get those walks up if we want to uh, manufacture some runs. And we continue to have offensive and pitching struggles. So... I will see you tomorrow in after the game. Hopefully we can bounce back with Logan Webb on the mound, but I'll see you then.